Burgess, I'm playing Fergus, father of three, husband of four. Monica Rathbone, I'm playing Flora, mother of three, wife to Ernest. Cam Bray is playing Cass, the oldest child, brings a boyfriend home to Halloween. I am Pierce Sauer, playing Julian, a uh, boyfriend. I'm Blake Banana, I'm playing, <laughs> I'm playing Joan, the middle child, haunted by ghosts. Hi, I'm Hunter Essex, and I'm playing Ronald pa Paul, RP, youngest football player. Lights off on a garage, the sky is a haunted house. There are tarps on the wall. Bloody and spooky props are on the floor. Different spooky stations. Fluorescent works, lights on. At the scariest butcher station, Ernest sits on his stool with a mask on top of his head. He drinks a beer. He has control of a remote. He plays with the control. He presses play. Sound horror sounds. He rewinds to hear that part again. He writes down the time for his record. He presses play again. Ronald Paul enters in his football uniform. Dad. Ernest does not hear. Dad. Motherfucking dad. Don't cuss at me, son. <laughs> <laughs> Did you throw something at him? I am trying to record sounds for our haunted house. He, Flora, is being a goddamn motherfucking answer. He threw it because I cussed at him. But he just cussed at me. RP picks up the same prop that was thrown at him. He aims and hits the fluorescent lights. The lights go out. Please, Jesus Christ, Santa Maria! Ernest, <laughs> turn on the lights. Well, I can't find the plug. I know where it is. Put it in, you're most scared. I'm not scared. Just turn on lights so you can both apologize to each other. Face to face, come on. I don't want to. Apologize, he hurt me. Sick of this. You guys don't love me? Oh, I'm some Copenhagen. I'm going to the store. <laughs> can you give me a Gatorade for practice? RP. Tell your father you love him and that you want him to live long enough to see your wedding. <laughs> and to stop chewing that goddamn tobacco. Ernest begins to sleep, but trips over many things in the dark. There's a loud fall. God damn it! Motherfucker! RP finally plugs in the lights. Surprise! Ken and Julian stand in the garage. Everyone screams. Ah! Stage and you have to use your other senses to get around, we follow the smell of butt plug. Butt plug is a pug who sits in the corner and does nothing. Oh god, she stinks. Is she not dead yet? No, Dad gave her back. We think she's got a second wind. She seems to be roaming around the garage more. So, are we doing the ritual tonight? It is the 30th. We open the haunted house tomorrow. Well, we have to have the whole family together to do it. Ernest just went to the store and we are waiting on Joan. Our people will have to skip practice. What ritual? Oh, it's silly. It's nothing real. It's just like, you know how we don't have any grandparents? Yeah? Yeah, so we just like talk to them and ask them to bless our haunted house. It's kind of their opportunity to haunt someone else so that during the year, they don't haunt us. Huh. 
That's kind of weird. Totally. <laughs> we do it for Joan, really. When I was little, I was watching A Haunting in Georgia, like right after our last grandparent died, Nanny. And Joan got really scared and tormented by it and says she was haunted by all of our dead grandparents. So we sent her to therapy, and, but told the therapist that we still wanted to do the haunted house that year because it's mom's birthday. Like the most important day for our family. We do the ritual, eat family dinner together, and then it's showtime for the haunted house. And if we didn't do the haunted house, we would literally <coughs> let the whole neighborhood down. So the therapist suggested we do a fake ritual that would keep the ghosts away during the year and invite them to haunt our guests on the night of the 31st. What about like last year and the year before that when you weren't here? Oh, I FaceTimed in. It, it counts, I think. <laughs> it, it counts. We count it. <laughs> oh my god, is that why you locked yourself in the bathroom last year at Sydney's party? Yeah, I told you I was doing a ritual. Oh my god, we just thought you were really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> we almost called the cops to get you out of there. Should have called a family therapist. Front legs pull up to the garage. Joan gets out. OMG, what are you doing here? I came for the ritual and the haunted house. He brought Julian. <laughs> yeah. He came along because he wants to ask for all of your guys' blessings to marry me. But you know the rules. What rules? The ritual only works with family members. But soon to be probably counts. Yeah, it counts. We count it. No, we don't. Says who? Says my therapist. Says your therapist <laughs> would deny. Well, it's tradition. I don't ever want to go through what I went through again. The spirit orbs like me, Kat. This is the only thing that makes me feel safe. They will come for me again. <laughs> can you two just get along, please? You know you made all that stuff up, you bitch. Anyone can join any tradition if they are about to join the family. Well, he literally can't be here, so send him on a plane, and you can just go with him if you want to. You need me for the ritual. You can FaceTime in again, cat. It was nice to see you. I can't FaceTime on the plane. Joan. Southwest has free Wi-Fi, cat. Imagine the <laughs> screaming in the air, Joan. God, you suck. You're also wearing this shirt. I can't believe you took that with you to school. I asked you not to. I don't know what you're talking about. I thrifted this. Uh, I could just go stay at a hotel for the night, cat. You can join me after the ritual. No. I didn't come here to not be with you, and I also didn't come here to not take part in all of Mom's birthday festivities. We are almost engaged. Jesus Christ. Let's all just calm down. I'm sure we can call Dr. Schultz and move this way up. Fine. Fine. Cool. Ernest and Arthur come back from the store. They wander into the garage, laughing at each other. Who may cause a different two start something? Hi, Joni. How was your day at school? Go away, Dad. Ernest goes in for a hug. Dad, get off me. I don't want a hug right now. What's wrong? Cat brought her gay boyfriend to the ritual. <laughs> How many times do we have to talk about this? You can't just use gay like that. It's offensive. I'm not offended, but you shouldn't use it that way. <laughs> PC pieces of shit. Oh. <laughs> hey, I, I knew you were going to have to fit at the fact that Julian's here. I'm not too happy about it myself. I'm happy about it. I've always wanted a brother. Thanks, dude. But you're like a gay brother, so... Guys, you can't just be gay like that. It's 2019. Get cultured. Okay. We get it. He's still not allowed to come. What if he becomes part of the family? What? 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 <laughs> you're gonna marry him on Mom's birthday? How inconsiderate of you, Kat. You always come around wanting money or attention. Well, at least I'm engaged, Joan. You've never had a boyfriend. Who's gonna officiate a wedding on the eve of Halloween? I can. What? <laughs> <laughs> I can get one of those, like, $20 licenses in, like, 20 minutes. Babe, can I talk to you for a second? Uh-huh, sure. Mm. They step to the side and leave the other three to argue. What's up? Well, um, Kat, you see, I, I haven't even asked you yet, and, and I thought maybe uh, we could have be engaged for a while, and, and then we have a pretty, really pretty little ceremony, and my family could be there, as well as your family, and you could wear like a white dress instead of a costume. I, I mean, not that we aren't actors, so it'd be like kind of cool, like if, if we wore costumes for a wedding, but like, you know, like weird people throw themed weddings. Like, <laughs> I never pegged us as those kind of people. 
Well, me neither, but can we just like be married a little bit and then get married for reals? It's like death do us part though, and I'm ready for that, I am, it's just... It's just what? Ah, never mind. You know what? Julian beckons to the family. Laura comes out of the house. I know you all disapprove me. Get off the stage! <laughs> but I'm a nice guy who loves your daughter, loves your sister. And I thought I was here tonight to secretly, not so secretly, ask all of your permission to marry Kat. But I don't need it. I don't want it. Regardless of what you think of me. We love each other and have loved each other, and tonight I will join you and your ancestors with your ritualistic bullshit. Let's fucking get married! Julian and Kat share a big smooch. End of Act 1. <laughs> <laughs> Beginning of Act 2. The stage is more decorated with Potter House stuff. The pug is in a cage. There are different stations set up like the sad clown station and the little girl playing with dead doll station. There's a culprit and some broomsticks. All very cliche Halloween things taking themselves seriously. Everyone is now in costume. Laura wears an alien costume. Ernest is, of course, the butcher. Joan is a bloody little girl. R.P. is a gravestone that says R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> Julian is a squire and Kat is a cat. The ritual wedding haunted house is beginning. One by one, they enter the room on their own and disclose their greatest fear to their ancestors. Ernest enters and jogs in a circle. That I'm not enough for my family? Or that I'm not loved? That's all I have. Ernest exits. Flora enters a slow walk. My greatest fear is that this ritual is real and you're stuck in it and can never break the circle and that Julian will be disapproved of all of you and Kat will be disappointed. Just mom stuff. No. <laughs> Flora exits. Julian enters. He hesitates. Wait, what do I do again? Greatest fear. Go. Uh, uh, uh. That I am suddenly marrying into a ritual ritualist family that uh, celebrates Halloween like Christmas. Julian exits. <laughs> <laughs> Joan is a freaking crackhead. None of this is real. But if it is real and you're listening, I'm sorry I said that. Mm -hmm. Cat exits. Joan enters. The fear that one day I'll experience the other side as I have once before will be obliterated from the inside out. Joan exits. <laughs> I don't have fears. I play football. <laughs> RP exits and they all re-enter. They stand in a half crescent and hold hands. We gather here tonight for an offering, a game, a wedding, a summoning and the opening of our 23rd annual haunted house. Welcome everyone! Who is doing the offering this year? What kind of offering? Um, a blood offering. Oh yeah. For sure. <laughs> don't worry. You don't have the blood we are looking for. <laughs> we will place one of your father's many empty beer bottles in the center of the room. Each of us will sit our cases for who should have the blood sacrifice. If our ancestors move the bottle towards who you think should be the sacrifice, we should listen to them. RP first. I think that dad should because he hasn't been very nice lately and has a quick temper. Okay, Joan. Julian, like I said, I think this is cheating. I think we're making them very mad. I don't think they want another addition to the family. Cat? I think it should also be Dad. When I said <laughs> me and Julian are going to get married, he said, over oh, my dead body. And while you choose your words, you choose your fate. The bottle, <laughs> faces. <laughs> the bottle faces are amazing. Two votes for me, guys. Really? Do you not love me or something? Am I not enough? You only have to donate enough blood to be unconscious. <laughs> we'll bring you back. I'm not letting you go anywhere. I love you. Laura thanks Ernest. <laughs> Ernest lands on the remote playing a scary sound he was listening to earlier. All of a sudden, Nanny comes to the door from the house to the garage. <laughs> Orbs, I knew it! Come on now, did I not teach you anything? Mom? Yes, dear, it's not Santa. <laughs> <laughs> How come you materialized? Well, for once, the wedding of my granddaughter! Uh, I always look forward to this day, and yet I always knew I wouldn't make it. <laughs> Hi, Nan. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, sweetie. Oh, I wish I could materialize a gift for you. 
Wow. Nanny, I've heard so much about you. I mean, don't worry about the gift. This isn't the most traditional wedding, so. What's up, Grams? <laughs> so this proves it! Ha! This proves it! I'm not crazy, Nanny! You were haunting me all those years. I don't know, dear. You were very young and had a wild imagination. Attention to whore cat. <laughs> and we need to remember the real holiday here. <clears throat> do you, cat, take Julian till death do you part? Yeah, dope sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Julian, nice tights by the way, and take my sister cat <laughs> until death do you part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, weirdos. Big kiss. Nanny seems to <laughs> okay, enough of the kissing. And I'm gonna line up people outside waiting to come and get spooked. I thought we'd all been pretty spooked ourselves. But let's do it. Guys, this is a really good birthday. I was with all the people in this world and the one beyond. I know we have done some weird stuff as a family on this day, but I think from now on we should just do the one of house. What do you think? Yes. Please. Yeah, let's not be weird anymore. Okay, I can get behind that. Oh, yeah. Let me have a play. <laughs> 